Highlight Warriors, it's Bella here. So, the Holy Spirit was ministering to me last night, like, was showing me something that happened in my day. It was actually another conversation that I had with a client. And the client was, like, being really nosy with me and, like, asking me if I was, like, in a relationship and stuff. And which I don't, I, I really don't like that when people ask me like personal questions like that. I'm very, very private person. But this person, um, I said, I told them like, no, I'm not in a relationship right now. And it's just so odd how um, people project so much onto me when I tell them that. They just think I'm they just feel so sorry for me and I'm literally like the happiest I've ever been. I've been single for like a long time. Like, I don't know, it's been like six years, I think, something like, so, something around there. And it is by choice and it's because I feel very fulfilled by God and the Holy Spirit and the mission that God has put in my heart. And not only that, like, I was just in a toxic relationship, actually several long-term toxic relationships, and it just really took a toll on me. And so this is the word I want to say about that. The lady, she said to me, she said, oh, it's a lot easier to be single. And I just thought to myself, I was like, oh, is it now? And um, I said, Oh, you think so? I, I was just like kind of curious. I was like, why do you think that is? Is it like less drama or something? And she was just like, no, just like, just easier. And I was just thinking then why do so many people, if it's so easy to be alone, why is nobody doing it? Why is everyone out there on Tinder swiping? Why is there so much desperation for a relationship? Why is there... Why was it so hard for me to leave my toxic relationship if it's so easy to be alone? And then the, then the Holy... So I want to say that. Like, is it easy to be in a relationship? No, I don't think it's easy to be in a relationship. It's a lot of work, which is... I would rather do that work on myself right now. And this is why, because the Holy Spirit also ministered to me, like... I also had this conversation. This was a completely different conversation with another client all in the same day. She came in and told me, which by the way, you guys, I usually have like six or seven lash clients in a day. And so that is one reason why like just touching like six or seven people a day and just like having all of them just like talk to me so much is just, it's, it's just a lot. And so just, just for me personally. But this lady was telling me um, her son was going into surgery today, actually, which I, I do pray for him today. He And he um, injured his, what is it, your your ligament in your, like, ankle or what, like, meniscus or something? Like, um, he broke bones and, anyway, it was reminding me of a part that I read in a book about a famous... Uh, famous, I believe he's a golf coach. I think his name is Bob, but I hope that's right. I'll try and correct it in the description box if it's wrong. But he's a coach, and in his book, it's like it's just it's just a book about um like how successful athletes, how their minds think, and their process. And so, because I'm just really inspired by learning about successful mindset. So I was reading this book and in the book it talks about how it was talking about an athlete who had injured himself and his um, career was on the line and he was in he wanted to get back he was like I just need to heal I just need to get back to the game and the coach was like look like the more time you take off and you allow this to heal the longer the foundation like if you go back and you re-injure this you're gonna be basically sol like you're it's gonna be it's gonna be bad but if you wait extra long time longer than what you feel comfortable if you're patient you just allow this to heal 
then you will actually be able to have your career long term. So the co it was just like it was kind of opposite. So the Holy Spirit was ministering to me last night and said this is the actually the same concept with your heart space. And after you've been healed or after you've been gone through trauma and you've had your heart broken if you rush right back into something and you have the same incident happen again, which that's what usually happens is we're usually attracted to the same things over and over until we heal that within ourselves based off self-worth or, you you know, what, whatever it may be and um, whatever traumas we've experienced in our childhood. And so there's a sense of like the longer the more patient you can be and the longer you can sit with God, you can sit with yourself, you can be alone, you can allow yourself to heal, the stronger you're making your heart, the more new your heart's becoming and the more healthier it's going to be for a long-term beautiful relationship for you and the more easier it's going to be for your heart to be able to manage certain tough situations where if you we're in that situation with your heart where it was still whether you're experiencing codependency which that's a big one for relationships where you're dependent on something else outside of yourself to make you happy like the love of another person that a lot of the times that's what it is and then oftentimes those type of people will attract a narcissist and so God's saying you have to allow your heart space to heal and take that time to be alone is it is it easy to be alone no it's not is it easy to allow your heart to heal after honestly after a certain point i feel like it is easy it, it feels great after a certain point but in the beginning it feels really really weird when you're not used to being like quote unquote by yourself there was when i first started this process there was crickets it was like nobody no messages from nobody no 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 love no text no no attention like it was just like crickets like like i really had to go within myself and really learn how to give myself what i felt like i needed from the outside world whether that was acceptance whether that was appreciation all that stuff I, I i had to give it to myself before i start receiving that from the people around me and that would those have been hard lessons because there was a long time where i really looked for from outside of myself for those things so that is the message i have for you about um healing your broken heart in Jesus mighty name I pray strength to you and I did have this it, um, scripture for you from st. Matthew 626 um, verse number seven it says ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find it knock and it shall be opened unto you so when you seek healing you will find it and when you ask for a healthy heart and you ask for a healthy relationship and you are obedient into those steps you will be brought into the right situation in jesus mighty name i hope you guys are having a beautiful healing journey i pray that you have the strength to be alone if you need to i pray that you have the strength to leave a toxic relationship if that's what you're in I've been through that myself it's not easy to start over but it's definitely worth it I'm the happiest I've ever been and all the glory goes to God for that one I'll see you guys again soon much love